So this is Fujifilm XS20 camera that I recently bought and it's my first trip with it here. And in this video I want to share with you my first impressions about this camera. So the first thing is the design. I quite like the design, it's okay for me, it's still squarish, like retro looking. And actually I found here in London Fujifilm store and went in to check X-T50 camera there. And if in the video of its release uh, I said that I actually like the design, seeing it in person, especially touching, I don't quite like it anymore. It's too sleek, too curvy for me and uh, side by side X-S20 for me looks better because here you don't have any curvature and the only difference is that this camera has grip. The X-T50 actually is as thick as my X-S20 camera so based on the looks I like X-S20 camera more. Of course the grip is big visually, it's not maybe a symmetrical camera as X-T30 Mark II that I had before but it's very comfortable to hold. I can hold it all day like that, it's very comfortable and uh, if people uh, with XE4 for example would buy some additional grips with this camera you don't need that at all because the grip itself is big enough and uh, what's else great that this grip houses bigger battery I have this bigger battery that goes into also bigger Fujifilm cameras and what it means that the battery life is great on this camera battery life is way better than it was on X-T30 Mark II I can shoot almost all day with one battery I spent uh, a day before shooting in London streets and uh, filming some uh, views uh, on uh, this camera with 6k video and my battery only died at the evening so I spent whole day taking photos videos and my battery was fine I didn't manage to buy a second battery before this trip so I was afraid I might not have enough battery life with just one battery but it turned out it's pretty enough and if I might see that uh, the charge is going down and I might need to shoot even more I can bring with me a charger and charge my camera at some coffee shop Next thing I want to talk about is the ergonomics. The ergonomics of this camera is strange for me and I don't get why Fujifilm does it. On lots of Fujifilm cameras the dials buttons are placed differently. I don't understand why all the dials and buttons on this camera are different from X-T30 Mark II and I don't like it because I got used to my X-T30 Mark II and now I need to get used to new button and dials layout on this camera which isn't ideal. I don't understand why Fujifilm can keep everything more similar. In total this camera has three dials, one main dial of shooting mode with four custom settings options which isn't ideal. On X-T30 Mark II I had seven custom settings options, here only four, not enough for me. I would like to have few more to put not only film recipes but also video settings on one of custom setting options. Then is quick menu button, ISO button, one unpainted dial that I use for exposure compensation and there is another unpainted dial that can change film simulation. You see not only Fuji X-T50 can change film simulations with dial, this camera can do it also and what is great that this dial isn't painted so you can assign another function to this dial if you don't like to change film simulations with it. So it's a great feature, I don't know why on X-T50 they painted that film simulation dial, they should also leave it unpainted and that way people could assign another function if they don't need to change film simulation with a dial. And of course the best part of this camera is image stabilization. It was the primary reason why I decided to switch from X-T30 Mark II and chose X-S20 because it has image stabilization and let me tell you, it is great. It's great for video because I have also here the kit lens 1855 with optical image stabilization so pair those two in body stabilization with optical image stabilization in the lens gives you very very smooth image well at least now on the camera screen it looks smooth but I hope it will look smooth even after I transfer it to my computer. And what also is great for this image stabilization, I can now do handheld long exposure images. I can put the shutter speed to 1 30th, for example, stand still, again with that optical image stabilization in my kit lens, and do some long exposure shots during the day, during the night. So 
the in-body image stabilization is really really good and I can compare it to my Sony a7 III which I use for work and this one in Fuji is way way better you can uh, do lots of stuff with it not only for video but for photos so I'm very satisfied with this aspect of this camera and let me know in the comments what you would like to see in my full video review because I'm now walking around taking pictures testing it trying to get used to it again because the dials and button layout are a bit different from previous camera so I need to test it out and will make my final review video later and also let me know if you would like to see a video about this lens XF1855 because now I have also XC1545 lens and I will need to decide which one I, I want to keep because this one is great but it's bigger and a bit heavier so if you want to see the test uh, between those two lenses also let me know in the comments yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I did it without a script just as I thought what things came up to my mind and I hope you enjoyed this video leave a comments leave your questions for my full review and I'll see you in the next one bye